Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC. He's JK Lantern, and welcome to Stories, The Path of Destinies. What is this game exactly? Well... Is, is that my cue to talk? I would assume. You, you know about this game more than I did. I believe you were the one who got it for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, so, um, <laughs> you, you may recall that a couple years back we LP'd the game Omen Sight. Um, Stories was actually made by the same team, but it's the previous game, and while it's not... While Omen Sight was not a direct sequel, and I think they're not even technically made by the same company, they either rebranded or moved to another company, they do canonically take place in the same universe, and you'll see a lot of similarities in tone, in mechanic, etc., etc. Yeah. But, but there are some distinct differences as well. Yes. So with that, let us begin a new tale. <coughs> and yes, I, I literally finished up the main quest of this in, like, less than a week, so... If you absolutely know what you're doing, you can get through this pretty quickly. The rover, Renardo, plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She oh, asked, mama, I'm in fear for my life on the lawn. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once. A shy, almost humble toad. He built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals. Victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages. And no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books. So they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. They Brave burned the, the librarians. Books. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. So this is starting off on a great foot. The kid was looking down. <laughs> Watching his city burn. Sorry, kid. Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Ah, oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to run after him. Renato, of course, being named for uh, the mythical folk character Reynard the Fox. Yep. And Peter being named for Peter Rabbit. <laughs> the, the names in this game are not necessarily the most original. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, ravens are hey, very now. smart. Renato said. Yep. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly <coughs> as you. Wait. Didn't come out right. <laughs> oh, the Emperor! <laughs> the ravens cawed and rushed at him. I'm God. So much like um, Omen Sight, it's a very hack and slash type game. Oh, wrong button. That's why. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I was pressing the uh, X when I was not. And so now I hurt. Welp. Nope, I can't cut down that tree. Dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. If there was dropship, I didn't see it. 
Grab, aim, and throw. Gotcha. Oops. Oh, I did throw him. Be gone, thought. I wonder what he thought before he fell. Also, shouldn't he be able to just fly away? He is a bird. Oh, right. You would think. The gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. What is this, Legend of Zelda? Kid Apparently. Away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renata going to get a hero sword? So this is going to be a mechanic that I feel like, um... Oh. Omen Sight did a little better. Wind yeah. Essence? That sounds about right. I'll need a workshop, though. Perfect. Hero sword. Q E D. Wahaha. So basically, throughout the game, you're going to unlock various kinds of swords, which are also your keys for the game. Mm-hmm. I don't remember all the details. I remember this got annoying eventually. <laughs> the kid's mum had been a swell cook, and she'd laugh at Renato's jokes. The ravens had come to burn her, and she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was, just the kid. Huh. What's so important about this book, I wonder? I know, right? He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped said the kid. Wise-ass kid. <laughs> behind you. <laughs> Q, said Renato. Oh, ravens. Yeah. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. So yes, RPG mechanics as well. Skill trees! Again, I feel like this was slightly better implemented in... Omen Sight, especially because Omen Sight kind of had that central core area. Yeah. To come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Cool. This now I remember how to hook shot. Whee! Wonder what those things about truths revealed mean. That's a good question. Oh well, I'm sure it's not important. Nah. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kessel run in 12 furlongs. Well, so the salesman told him. Ha <laughs> ha! Star Wars. Told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Kid, there is a goddamn beholder! No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eye. There's something dark we can talk about here, but we can't really talk about it until later in the game. Well, we failed in our duties. Unburned. Yep. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. So, so the kid died protecting the book, and so did his mom. He lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels. Keep that in mind. 
pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Oh, I think we can smash things. Oh, you're right. Ooh, apples. Nom, 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 nom. It should be Chimpkin. We're a fox, damn it. I I've seen foxes eat apples. True. You know, the ones that see a fox love watermelons. Yep. As a kid, I hate to tell you, you're adopted. <laughs> uh, I mean, he knows we're not his dad. Um, we, we were just shacking up with his mom. Yeah. Be because we're a man whore, I'm pretty sure. He is a fox. Oh, I wasn't allowed to smash the last box. Anyway. <laughs> it's taunting me. <laughs> Time to open the book. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Caught the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for Bill? Renato yelled back. And never coming back. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base! I will spare your lives! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. So you have a bunch of floating islands, rebels, the empire. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game changer. Maybe. He could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renardo a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renardo could only rescue him, Renardo dived the farfarer towards the abyss as he felt the heat of the jet stream. The raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky River. Lapine, I believe, is the French word for rabbit. And he does look like one, so now we have a choice. <laughs> we can either save our ally or go for treasure. I, I know which one I chose the first time around, but... Uh... It's been quite some years since I've played this game. <laughs> uh, you know what? Do I, I think we're gonna go for treasure. Okay. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. Because clearly, trusting others life. got us into so this much Emperor, trouble beforehand. Isendrum the Third had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost gods. What is this, Cult of the Lamb? And he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth. It was more than Renardo could fathom. So, if he could find so, uh... The weapon, he would use it. I'll get to that when we get to it. In-game, I guess. Yeah. Um, as just, just to remember, this takes place in the same Renardo setting as Omenside. Yeah. He'd left Lapino behind. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the Ravens. He hoped they hadn't eaten him. And if they had, he hoped they hadn't eaten him alive. I I'm sure the Rabbit got so eaten alive. Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Well, we're gonna have to try. <laughs> so the armature is uh, the, the housing device for the Skyripper, essentially. It's useless by itself. 
Hmm. Why do I bring this up? Well, no reason. Yeah. Definitely no reason. No, absolutely not. But yep, we're running through this nice forested island. Yep. We're peeing everywhere to mark our territory. Mm-hmm. As a fox does. Exactly. Ignore the fact that he wears pants, I think. Maybe he has, like, a strategic hole in him. I mean, usually when you have one of those, you kind of have to. I'm just saying. <laughs> if I cast a sword now, it's going to be really short. Let's see, can I craft anything else? Oops, hey, slow down. I'm looking at you. Uh, I could upgrade that, but I don't have enough ore yet. Nope, I don't think I got enough for to upgrade any of that yet. But apparently I can put some gems in my gauntlet. If I ever get one. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of these are locked. So at the very least, we know this exists. So we can have some bling. So I see you over there. Who needed bridges anyway? What's a bridge? More ore. Useful? Yes. Uh, what? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it just takes me back here. Interesting. Hmm. There's little teleporty doodads. Oh, it's more of those gazers what killed Peter. Oh, if only he had just stuck to stealing from Mr. McGregor's garden. Hey, how do you tell if someone's far away or just really small? Father Ted reference! Now, Dougal, let's try this again. <laughs> These cows are small. <laughs> Those cows are far away. Not head, still not getting it. Open the door. Get oh. on the floor. Oh, that purple glowing thing looked interesting. This castle. It does. Do even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? Wrong sword. The Ripper could destroy anything it touched. Or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands of thousands had died. But Renato had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. Renato's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. There, there are some funny bits of dialogue that come up when you smash enough things. Take that, pottery. We are Lunk. We are. Let's see. Oop. Oh, we can dash now. Possibly. No, we don't have enough for it. Never mind, I don't have any skills. I haven't fought anything in a bit. Hmm. Hero wall. Hero sword. Ice wall? Ice? Cube? Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Seems to be quite a few little, uh... A few different doors out there. I want to say that I was bad at the combat in this game, and I still did fine in this game. I mean, there's not a huge amount to this one. It's not like with uh, Omen Sight, which had a thicker, I think, uh, combat system. Yep. And it's kind of like with the Prince of Persia series. Sands of Time, the combat was kind of weak. They improved on it in Warrior Within and <coughs> uh, Two Thrones. Yep. Yeah, I... I... I like this game, I do, mm -hmm. um, but it's gonna become apparent really quickly that, um, Omen's Sight just is 
better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it had more but, time in the oven, I think, which helped. Yep. And, and they they kind of got their practice with this, and... Yeah, this is kind of like uh, Baby's first game, essentially, I think. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what this? The truth behind the Sky Ripper is shrouded in a thick fog. The most believable tale is that the Transcendent Emperor has used the Sky Ripper to banish Iblis. Then the T.E. buried the weapon and vanished. Was it a self-imposed exile to rid the world of its last divine presence? Or was it the price to pay for using such a tremendous power? Could the Sky Ripper and Iblis have a deeper connection than just a weapon and its victim? My rituals will summon the Iblis Stone. Perhaps I should worry that they will also cause the Sky Ripper to resurface. If that is the case, I should spare no resources to find it. Weapon that can banish a god is an invaluable bargaining chip should the old ones decide to double cross me. It's in their nature to try. But gods are predictable, and I can rely on that to always be one step ahead. Emperor is Sengrim the Third Secret Journal. Not so secret anymore. So so we're looking for a gun that banished Iblis. So could it be perhaps the Iblis Trigger? So, somewhere a Sonic fan is groaning. Knock, knock. Oh, good. More, oh, hello. More fun with uh, gobblers. At least they're only a one hit kill. If looks could kill. You'd be lying on the floor. You'd be begging me, please, please, hunt, don't hurt me no more. I never realized that that was a song. <laughs> I've heard the phrase numerous times. <laughs> it's a song from Heart. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I think they just took it for the song, but still, yeah, that's how I know it from. <laughs> By the end of this, the Beholder uh, population is going to dwindle down to nothing. Don't we just agree to disagree? Said Renato. No? I, I do love the narration in this game. Um, this game definitely is a little more tongue-in-cheek and takes itself less seriously than Omen Sight does. Yeah. I mean, with Oven Sight, it was pretty much, you gotta try and stop the end of the world. Good luck. Ah, a puzzle. Bernardo loved puzzles. Except when he couldn't figure them out. On the other hand, if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from something good. Okay, so that rotates those two. And that just rotates that one. Oh, <coughs> I already solved it. I am so smart! Well then. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard. I know, right? My god, it just made my brain hurt. I was picturing Lantern in a bikini. Hey! <laughs> Treasure. More or Oh, okay. Uh, see, is there something on the other side here? Nope. I guess there's supposed to be something on the other side, maybe? I don't know. I think you can go south, maybe? Well, one way to find out. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Maybe it's... You gotta go around with one of the other doors. Who knows? 
I remember that a lot of the side paths were like journal entries and like just random treasure, which is useful. Yep. Do I have enough for this? I do. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. <laughs> yep, so now I can dash. Whee! Dash, dash, hundred yard flash, or whatever it was. I've never watched Zootopia yet. <laughs> 